Nation. Town. Keisha J. Mac just live from your local Houston BMW Center Studios. Oh, uh, man, we got a special guest in here. Uh, I like to say he made people's dreams come true because he puts together the uh, biggest yeah. concerts and, and allows us to re relive our childhood. <laughs> <laughs> He's done that for me. No, but more than that, I mean, one of the biggest con uh, companies in the country, uh, G Squared. Gary yes. Guidry. Yeah. Yeah. Also making dreams come true by offering scholarships to students. How you doing this morning? I'm doing great, man. This city, I love it. The kids, just the shows, you know, everything, man, that this city has done for me, man. This is just I, I couldn't imagine that I would be here right now. And, and yeah. J Mac always says you're the one person who makes sure we have good seats at a concert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Out of all the promoters, you take care of the people who actually talk about the shows. And I love that about you. And they're not way in the back seats. They're up front <laughs> seats. Yes. And, and I just want to say, if nobody ever told you, love you for that, man. All right, oh, man. Well, man. I appreciate the love, man. I don't want y'all putting no stink on my show. Man. So, <laughs> you know I mean? so I want y'all to keep loving me like I love on y'all, man. So. Yeah. I love that. And more importantly, I love what you are doing for the community. Mm -hmm. yeah. And why is this so important to you to give back and to give this much back to kids? <laughs> well, man, I come out of Studio with Acres Home, man. I, like, my mom didn't have very much, man. You know, lights off and, you know, water off and, you know, different things and just struggling, trying to make sure that I had a way to just survive. And, you know, just this city has done so much for me. And for me to come from this place, you know, to accomplish what I've accomplished, you know, it's just... I just want to reinvest in the kids because I know what it's like to not have and not have opportunity and not see opportunity every day growing up literally across the street, three houses down from a crack house. You know you, what I mean? You know what was so puzzling to me when you walked in here before we got on the air, you was talking about it is so hard to give away this money. And what is the problem? <laughs> what is going on? I don't on? get it, man. I mean, the scholarship is designed for anybody that want to go into performing arts. I don't care if you sing. I don't care if you make beats, if you want to manage artists, if you want to start a label. If you lighting engineering, uh, audio engineering, anything mm -hmm. around the business, if you want to study that and, and, and sharpen your tools for that craft and go to school for it, we're saying, hey, man, just fill out the application, you know, give us a, a, a video of, of what you do and your talent. And you qualify for ten thousand dollars, and we gonna give two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Hold hold on, people are listening right now. What do they need to be? They need to be a senior. They need to be a senior uh -huh. high school or a first year community college uh, student. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Requirements. Um, I mean, just a two point five average, you know. And, oh, I could have made it. Yeah. Yeah. I could have made you know, it. But I'm just a kid. Be a straight A student. It's about the talent. It's about the dream. You know. Sometimes people get off the path. You don't know why a mm -hmm. kid is not making straight A's. It could be like he's trying to figure out how he's gonna eat. Mm -hmm. You know. So it doesn't have to be a perfect, you know, GPA. It's not about that. It's about it's about having a dream and it's about having some talent. So if you want to do something, or even if your talent is average and you want to learn how to make it great, like this is an opportunity, man. Just yeah. fill out the form, go online to G Squared uh, Foundation org, and it's like it's so simple. But we we send information to all the schools and to the deans and things of uh, uh, the uh, 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 counselors at the schools. And it's like, why is this information not getting out? Why are we right. not getting these applicants? So now I'm just taking it to the airwaves here, yep. man, to say, oh, you know, yeah. this is we we gotta we gotta get on 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 this scholarship thing, man. You it's, know, it's, it's great. In, in school they give you the curriculum to get through school, but no one ever feeds your passion, or no one ever feeds your talent, or you may not know what that is, and there's not a lot of opportunity for you to explore what that is because th the money that it costs to yeah. do so, right? Some yeah. kids want to go to school to become, like you said, audio, audio, uh, audio engineering, but they don't have the money to do so. So this is a perfect perfect opportunity yeah. for yeah. you to get this money. Yeah. It's Especially if you're going to like community college and you're getting your foundation, mm -hmm. ten grand, you that's all your classes pay yep. for. You yep. know what I mean? Like it's not that expensive to go to community college. Even if you're going to a tier one, tier mm -hmm. two, whatever institution, you know, to get this extra money, that's like your groceries, your yep. dorm. Like once your tuition's paid, you might get a refund check because you got this extra money mm -hmm. coming mm -hmm. in. That's gonna cover your car insurance and other things that you need just to survive. So this is this is this is foundational money for you to just make it. What so, if they say they want to be a promoter like you? That That's music business. Okay. That's music business. I wish I had gone to school to learn some of the things. I had some hard knocks of just bumping my head right. against the wall of just not knowing, you know. And so, I mean, that's a way to learn. But if I had gone to school directly for this, now I right. went to school for accounting and other things that helped me along the way, too. Okay. You know, so I had some foundational pieces there, you know. But, you know, if I had study you know labor laws and music contracts right. and things like that i wouldn't have had some of the mistakes mm. that i had 25 years ago 
you know, so, Facts. but to, you know. Facts. You know, I took audio engineering and I, I became in radio, so it's crazy that you said that, Keisha, yeah. yeah, because audio engineering can really give you a whole yeah. lot in, in the music industry. An audio engineer is a singer's best buddy. Mm. <laughs> Literally, you know, I don't care if you're, you know, Slim Thug or Beyonce, that audio engineer is like, mm -hmm. that's a guy how you survive on that stage, you know, like you have an easy night or a hard night. Like, mm -hmm. but those little things, management, record label executives, all of that stuff is based on educational foundation how long mm. you been in the game uh since 1998 how do you stay relevant 25 years oh man you know just finding new ways to provide content looking at what the market wants to see where the niche is and you know giving people what they desire to see you know it's like whether it's throwback concerts whether it's you know newer artists or whether it's stage play comedy just finding what people want and then having your ear to the street to know how to give it to them and how do you choose that okay do you just look for that like when you decided to do the uh bobby brown tour the new edition tour yeah how'd you si decide that because well, this is the second time you did it yeah i mean well after the, the movie came out they didn't tour you know they had some issues that you know they needed to resolve and i knew several of the members and we started you know having some of that you know dr phil uh, moments to you know to say guys what's going on here can we pull this together and talk to this one talk to that one my partners you know we all started you know going from different directions and you know pulling it all together but Again, that's a niche that we say, okay, this the, the market wants to see New Edition tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody wanted. They, the movie happened, why didn't they tour? And so that's, you know, if you know that there's a, a demand there, then you pursue it. Uh. But what, what is it about you? Because not only have you put New Edition together, you've also put B2K back together at some point. Groups that we thought would never <laughs> see the... Like, I know you do it. Stage. And we just put the Tony, Tony, Tony reunion back together. You, wait, you, you, that's you? That's me. You, that's you? <laughs> that's you? <laughs> Bro, listen. See, people don't understand. That's BPC. Yeah, when you go, when you yeah. go to a Rob Bio CD concert, he don't really do Tony, Tony, Tony songs. So you don't get to see that. When you go to yeah. Tony, Tony, Tony concert, you don't... I I mean, they do the songs, but it's not Rap Your Sneak. You yeah. literally got these guys back together. Yeah, man, yeah. Are you yeah, bringing that yeah. here? Yeah, yeah. We're okay. Kind of smart. <laughs> okay, we're good, dude. Oh, I'm go we're I good. cannot wait. To yeah, see, yeah, he yeah. made my dreams come true. Yeah, man. All my yeah, favorite man. groups. <laughs> All of them, yep. And Guy got them back together. Oh, my. Twice. So, but, how, but, but what is it about you that you're able to do this and other people can't do it? Why do they yeah, trust man, you so man. much? The secret group. <laughs> you know what? I think it is. I think it because you're record it proves itself you know you look at your resume and you can just tell you're not a person who you pay your people obviously yeah <laughs> check clears that that's important right the that's the number clear. one thing you're yeah. consistent with what you do yeah and, and people just respect you and i and that goes a long way in the business mm -hmm. yeah yeah i mean that's that's you know that's a product of, of of having a strong mother who steals a lot of love in your child amongst you know the surroundings and you just want to do what you say and do right by people. So when you wake up and you want to do good with people, mm -hmm. there's an energy that that's, you know, mm. organically just in the room with when you want to do good. And then the business will happen. If you got the business knowledge, but your desire is to just do good and right by people, Ooh. people feel off yes. of that. You know, like there's yeah. an energy that they say, man, I trust you. Mm. Hey, Mac, you know, too, they be what? trying to kick us out backstage, and whenever we do your shows, they be trying, and I be like, go get Gary somebody, please. Like, do not be like, please. Right. He makes sure we good all the time. Yeah. I love that. One last question for me. What's the biggest concert that you almost had, but you didn't get? You was like, ah. came close. Man, you know, you know, the artist that I really, really, really want to tour is Usher. Yes. What? Like, yes. My God. Please like, get us. Because I can't afford to go and, to. And Beyonce, Las I Vegas. love you. I love you. I would love to one day, but Usher is like. It's an experience. That's 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 because that was my, you know, the icon of my era, you mm -hmm. know. And so if if you know, and and we've had some talks with management, but it seems to always get shut down. But Usher. Come on, bro. Come on, come on man. That is the confessions. Isn't there the anniversary These are my of that? Confessions. That's the yeah, on, anniversary man. of that um, being like one of the biggest albums ever, like right, number wise. Right. Yeah, year. I mean, yeah. literally, you got those iconic albums. Mm -hmm. You got Songs in the Kid Life of the 70s. Mm -hmm. You got Thrill right. of the 80s. <laughs> you got Lauryn Hill in the 90s. You got Confessions of the 2000s. Yeah, like right. those iconic once oh. in a decade albums. Like, come on, Usher. Sure. 
Bro, <laughs> Irish and baby, that show in Vegas is, I mean, amazing. I think it should go on on the road, honestly. Yeah. Like that's one of the best shows I've ever yeah, seen in my entire life. Exactly, one of the best artists exactly. I've seen. And you don't get artists a lot of times that put that much passion into performing still because they've done it for so long and they're like, I don't got nothing to prove. And Usher's out there every single night like he has something to prove. And he's exactly. literally living in the moment as we're are the artists are going through the motion when they're on stage. I watch them, they're just going through the motion. Right. But Usher yeah. comes every single day prepared mm. and, and he's passionate about it every day. I'm like, man, you've been in the game so long. How are you able, why are you still that passionate? So those are the artists that we like to see, yeah. you know? And I'm yeah. glad you say that. If you want to get in the game, yes. tell them how they can win some of this money. Oh man, just go to gsquarefoundation.org. Simple application, man. Upload a video of what you do. I don't care if it's making beats. I don't care if it's just a speech of wanting to represent some of the greatest artists in the world. Share your dreams with us and go to school on behalf or courtesy of G Square Woo! Foundation and all these shows that, that I'm able to do. You know what I mean? It's like, that's why we're able to give this money away because you guys support everything that I do in this city man, and across the country. And I thank you guys, man.